Okay, welcome to the next tutorial of uh, the Seinbecker. Um, in the previous tutorial, we made this poncho, and with this tutorial, we're gonna make a matching beret. For the beret, we're gonna use the same colors um, as the poncho, and we will start with a magic circle. And in that magic circle, we're gonna make eight half double crochets starting with a chain two which count as the first half double crochet and that one okay we're at the end of row two and we're gonna do a slip stitch in the second of the first chain two we made okay before we go further i'm gonna sew in this piece of yarn from the beginning it's irritating me while I'm crocheting and okay it has to be fun so I don't want annoying things so. okay for round three we're gonna do um, one half double crochet in the first stitch and then two half double crochet in the next. So we're gonna start with a chain two and then two half double crochets in the next. One, two, one half double crochet in the next. And two half double crochet in the following. Repeat this pattern all the way to the end. At the end, we uh, if we reach the end, I will come back and then we can start. Uh, we uh, reach the end of row three. We're gonna do slip stitch in the second of the chain two we made. And if it's correct, you have now uh, 24 uh, half double crochets. And row number four is uh, also an increase. We're going to do two half double crochets in the first two stitches. And in the third one, we're going to do two half double crochets. And in the next two, one half double crochet. And in the third one, two half double crochets. Repeat this all the way to the end. And when we reach the end of row four, <coughs> uh, we're gonna start. Okay, row we five. reach the end of row four, so we're gonna slip stitch in the second of the chain two we made. And you have now 32 uh, half double crochets. Uh, row number five. Uh, we will do um, one half double crochet in the first three stitches and in the fourth you do two half double crochets. So we're going to start with chain two which count as the first half double crochet. Two. And three. And in the next one two half double crochets. Okay, one time more, one half double crochet in the next three stitches, so one, two, three, and two half double crochets in the fourth stitch. Continue this row and at the end we will back and we will start with row six. With the end of row um, five. So we're going to close the round again of the row again with a slip stitch in the second of the chain two. The next round we will do um, one half double crochet in the four, first four stitches and in the fifth one we will do two half double crochets. So that is one. Two. Three. 
four, and then two of double crochets in the fifth one. Don't forget that the first chain two count as your first uh, half double crochet. Okay, then again one half double crochet in the next four stitches and in the fifth one again two half double crochets repeat this the whole row and at the end of row uh, five or six sorry okay we reach the end of row uh, six we will have uh, 48 half double crochet so I'll slip it slips it in the second of the chain two we made um, to get the right size um, if you lay it flat and I will take my measurement I know between 14 and uh, 15 is about the, size, uh, the age of 3 to 4 years so you put it in the middle it's about 14 and a half centimeters that's about 5 three quarter of an inch and I know this is uh, wide enough to fit on a on a child of the age of three four but because I want to make a barrette um, I'm gonna uh, increase a f uh, three more rows then a few rows uh, the same and then we will uh, uh, decrease again so for the next round we're gonna do one time a more uh, increasing and now we will make in the first five stitches one half double crochet and in the sixth one we will do two half double crochets so that's two three four five and then in the sixth one we're gonna do two half double crochets one time more in the first five stitches one half double crochet and now I lost my count I think three yep three and it makes four and it makes five and in the sixth one we're gonna do two half double crochets continue this uh, pattern through the whole round and at the uh, end of row 6 um, or row 7 I mean we're gonna go uh, continue to rows and we're at the end of row uh, 7 so we're gonna close the row with a single crochet in the second of the chain 2 row number 8 uh, is an increase also we're gonna do six half double crochets in the first six stitches and in the seventh one we will do two half double crochets so chain two is the first two three four Six and in the seventh we will do two half double crochets and one time more in the first six stitches we will do one half double crochet and I made a mistake so I have to go back Otherwise, it won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, and here two half double crochets. Sorry, so six half double crochets in the first uh, six stitches and two half double crochets in the seventh, and then again one half double crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, one more, 
six half double crochets and in a seventh we're gonna do two half double crochets continue till the end of the row and at the end of the row uh, eight I will show you how to do row nine okay we reach the end of row eight we're gonna do uh, okay first let's finish this row with a slip stitch in the second of the chain two okay we're gonna make one more row uh, of increasing and after that we won't increase anymore uh, in the next one we're gonna make seven half double crochets in the first seven stitches and in the eighth one we're gonna do two half double crochets so chain two what is one half double crochet Seven, two, four, six, seven, and in the eighth one we're gonna do two half double crochets. One and two, and then again one half double crochet in the first seven stitches. And in eight, we're gonna do two half double crochets. Okay. Continue this. So seven half double crochets in the first seven stages, and in the eighth one, two half double crochets all the way around. At the end of row nine, um, we're gonna continue with the next four rounds. So I'll see you then. Okay, we're at the end of row nine. So we're gonna slip stitch in the second of the chain two, and after this row we won't increase anymore. The next four rows, so row 10, 11, 12, and 13, will be just one half double crochet in each stitch around. Uh, you have a total now of uh, 72 half double crochets. So row 10, we'll start with chain two. And then one half double crochet in each stitch around. One stitch in every stitch. Continue the row and make three more rows after that. So you have a total of four rows of just one half double crochet in each row. And uh, at the end of row 13, uh, we will be back and we will start uh, decreasing. Okay, we reached the end of the four rows of one half double crochet in every stitch. So, join the round with a slip stitch in the second of the chain two. And row number 14. Uh, will be six half double crochets in the first six uh, stitches and then we're gonna do two half double crochets together so one two that's the first one two. Six and then two half double crochets together. That's one, two, and together. And then again six half double crochets. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, and two half double crochets together. Continue this all the way around till you reach the end again and then we will go to round number 15. Okay, we reached the end of row 14. And we slip stitch in the second chain of the, in the second of the chain too. Okay, row number 15 will be a decrease also. Um, we're gonna do five half double crochets and in the sixth one we do two half double crochets together. So one, two, that's the first one, two, three, four, five, and then in the sixth and seventh we will do them together. So two half double crochets together in the next five one one half double crochet three four five and then two half double crochets together Repeat it all the way around till we're at the end and at the row, uh, end of row 15 we will be back and we will continue with row 16. Okay, we reach the end of row 15. So again, slip stitch in the second of the chain 2. Uh, we're gonna do the last row uh, decreasing. Um, at the end of uh, this row uh, we will change color to uh, pink, in my case. Your color can be different, but we're going to change to the second color. Um, this is the last row of decreasing, and uh, we're going to do now uh, four half double crochets in the first four stitches, and stitch five and six will half double crochet together one two three four and two half double crochets together one time more one two Four and the next two you will crochet together. Finish this round and at the end of row uh, 16 we will back and I will show you how to change the color to the uh, uh, second color and I will uh, tell you how to finish the head. Uh, except the pom pom, we're gonna make that later. So, continue this row, and at the end I will see you back. So, we reach the end of row 16. Um, we're gonna change color from uh, first color to second color. So, we're gonna go and do a slip stitch in the second of the chain two. Normally, you will take yellow, your first color to slip stitch. In this case I'm gonna cut the yellow. I'm gonna take my second color, put it over my hook and slip stitch with it. To make it secure that it won't get loose while we crochet further I make a simple knot. That's enough later in I will weave in the end. Uh, the next four rows, 
will be one single crochet in each stitch so for a total of four rows um, in this case I will start with a chain one that doesn't count as the first stitch so I'll make a single crochet in the first one and then one single crochet all around and you continue that for a total of four rows and if you finish this four rows we'll be back and I will show you how I make the pom-pom and I just use my hands make sure you have a sharp scissor and that you yeah. or use a pompa maker in this case I like to use the hands it's faster pompa we're gonna make in uh, this color also so another in the second color in my case pink in your case it could be another color and if you don't want a pompa on it then don't do it doesn't have to I will show you also another thing you can make which you can put on it and I will look the I will look up the English word for it because I don't know the English word so let me check that finish the four rows of single crochets and at the end of row 20 uh, I'll be back and I will show you how I make the pom-pom and that other thing I was talking about Okay, we reach the end of the fourth row of the single crochets. So, finish the row with a slip stitch in the first single crochet you made. Cut off the yarn. And weave in the ends. finished uh, I still couldn't find the English word for the other thing that you can put on top of it instead of a pompon so if I don't know what it's called I don't know if I can sp explain, I can explain how to make it so if somebody can tell me then the English word for it then I will be very thankful for that last one And then basically the barrette is finished. Um, you have a basic barrette now. It will fit for a three, four year old. Um, okay, we're gonna make a pom pom. And I'm gonna do that by hand. We need yarn, a good scissor, uh, I have to get that one, and um, that's it. So I'm gonna get a, a right scissor and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, I got a right scissor, put that aside. I'm gonna take the yarn and I'm gonna wrap it around my hand for about 50 to 60 times. If you think it's enough, wrap it a few times more. So that's one, two, don't do it too tight, otherwise it will hurt your fingers. One, two, three, fifty. I'm gonna do twenty more. Six, 
70. Okay, I'm gonna cut the yarn here. And I'm gonna take it off my hand and place it like this. I'm gonna take another piece of yarn and I'm gonna lay my bundle of yarn on top of that in the middle and make a knot and pull it real 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 tight it's not in the middle so I'm still in the first knot so I can change it a little bit I have to go a little bit up let me see if this, if this is the middle So make a knot, real tight, hold your finger on it, otherwise it will get loose again. Make another knot, and make one more knot. And I make these longer because later on these two strings uh, I will use to attach it to the, to the barrette. Now you have to cut here the yarn, make sure you cut all, don't forget anything, and it's a little bit messed now but that will be okay later when we're gonna shape up the the pompon, okay, other side also, check if there are any more where you forget you know, forget a few yeah. just check everywhere if you didn't forget any places to cut so <coughs> we'll put it here Okay, now it's a, it's a real messy uh, pumper now. So what you do is you put it all down, except the two uh, ones uh, which we're going to use to attach it to the uh, barret. And uh, I'm going to take my small scissor and I'm just going to cut it so it will get even everywhere. Just cut them, if you find more later on, just cut them while you're working. So, I'm gonna put it again. Let me put my big scissor. Goes a little bit faster, I think. It's not that sharp knife, I got to have to get new ones. just did it like here, now I'm gonna turn it a little bit and make sure that it's and it should who doesn't have to be exactly but as you could see when I started before I started cutting it was a real mess the difference between the length were too much So, let me get all the pieces that fell in. Okay. No, I'm pleased with it now. Um, I'm gonna take my needle, get one of the pieces that we left longer, and I'm gonna put it on one side of the middle. So, here is the magic circle. So I'm gonna put it right next to it, put it through 
and just hold it with your fingers or don't pull too much and you need both hands to put your yarn in okay first one was on this side of the magic ring so this one will go to the other side then you work around get your yarn through needle and just make a tight knot so get the This yarn is a little bit thicker than the other one and it's really strange because they're from the same brand and everything is the same but still there's always a little bit different with a lot of things the white is also most of the time a little bit thinner so not much but with things like putting it in through the eye of the needle you will notice it just weave in those two ends nice and secure and cut the yarn and the other side just put it through and in these cases a sharp needle is also handier and easier than the one you will normally use cut the yarn this will go into the dress and if you notice that there's still a small pieces that are longer just 